Okay, I'm going to be doing these the same way I did all the other ATCs, putting a card in and pouring some of the yellow um, paint over it. Um, oh, I don't know why I started that already. I'm not quite ready for that. Almost all the paints I'm going to be using are either Nicole's or Craftsmart. The one exception is um, in the group that I have that's going to be brown, orange, and yellow. I'm using Apple Barrel chocolate because I didn't have any Craftsmart dark brown. Um, but everything else is Craftsmart and comparing that with Nicole's. So uh, I will have a list in the um, description below of what all the colors are that I'm using. And as always, please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all those good things that we always say, and hope that you do, because that's what keeps us going, is knowing that people are watching and enjoying. Um, let me go ahead and get my first set of colors over here. I have uh, dark blue, light blue, and yellow. Uh, the Nicole's yellow is bright yellow. The Craftsmart yellow is light yellow because I didn't have any um, Craftsmart bright yellow. And I hope to have enough of each set of colors to do at least two cards of each, of each set of colors. So two cards of the Nicole and two cards of Craftsmart. Just to kind of, you know, give an idea of what it's how it's going to work uh doing them all on cards uh on playing cards so the surface is always the same always using the um yellow and white paint first as a bit of a lubricant trying to to control for as many things as i can to really give it a reasonable uh test of the nicole paints so here we go first with dark blue, light blue, and yellow. Now I think I need to give this a stir. Because otherwise it's going to come out all yellow to begin with. And that's not going to do what I want it to do. Let's see if I can... There we go. Yeah. It's still going to be mostly yellow coming out. for a minute. I suspect that with all of these uh, the Nicole paint is going to work reasonably well. My main concern having used it in the last video with the double pours is it may not cover the playing cards as well as I would like. But that is a pretty card, I have to say. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to do two or three of each set of colors to give what feels to me like a reasonable test of the paint. Because just one time through the colors might not be a reasonable test. And again, it looks like it's going to just be all yellow coming out, but there's light blue and dark blue underneath, so we'll get it that way. Okay. Let that work a moment. Hmm. 
Again, very pretty. Um, I think for the time being, I'm just going to go ahead and jump over to the uh, Craft Smart Colors. Just to keep this video from getting ridiculously long. I'm going to give this a stir like I did the last. So I've got neon blue or light blue, dark blue, and um, light yellow. very different. Obviously the light yellow affects the, the quality. Um, so that's unfortunate because it just doesn't give that same intense look that the bright yellow does. I wish that I had bright yellow to make a more uh, realistic test there, but I don't. So, we'll just go ahead and do with what we've got. One more of this. Oh, this, is, this one's going to be mostly dark blue, looks like. Let that run for a moment. different, very light colors, and the blue really staying separate from the yellow, not really mixing in, not really making the green like the uh, Nicole did. So that is an interesting aspect of it. Okay, let's move on to the next pair of things. I have white neon pink and dark blue. And again, these are all Nicole and the One and um, Craft Smart in the other. This yellow base coat is going to seem kind of odd with the white, blue, and pink, but that's what I've got. So here's the Nicole. I need to give it a stir because all the white has gone down to the bottom. Come on, I need some white up here. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any white, so maybe it'll come up. Underneath, we'll see. I've got enough there. Looks like that mixed a lot. Looks like we're going to get some really nice purples. Yeah. Got a lot of purple. The color 
colors mixed some with each other and a little bit with the yellow. Not terribly much. I'm going to keep the face cards away. Should have done that from the beginning. Again, I'm doing two for right now of each. Set of colors. My daughter hates when I do that. I start saying a sentence and then kind of lose my words for a moment and stop. And she's like, Mom, finish. What were you going to say? I don't know. There's a little telling what I was going to say. Now that's pretty. Look how that came out in a kind of a teardrop shape. Very pretty. Okay. Now we're going to do a couple of Craftsmart paint cards. Give this a stir. So it looks like it's got bubbles in it, which is kind of odd. And it also looks like the colors stayed separate somewhat, more so than, um, than Nicole did. So that may be one of the defining factors, that the Nicole, when you put it in the spinner, it's going to color is going to tend to mix together. Whereas the Craftsmart will tend to stay at least somewhat more separate. Okay, this looks somewhat more like the second Nicole piece, um, kind of the teardrop shape, but again the colors stayed more separate, they didn't really mix quite as much, and even though it's still a dark blue and a neon pink, um, didn't make nearly as nice of a, a purple where it did mix. So that's interesting. Okay, that's it for that pair. Let's go ahead and put those away for the time being. I love having these little cups so I can save paints for another time. Here's my last set. Nicole chocolate 
um, I think it's actually bittersweet chocolate, it's called, bright yellow and neon orange. And then this is um, apple barrel chocolate, craft smart neon orange, and light yellow. I really wish I had bright yellow, but that's kind of the reason I was going to the craft store to begin with was because I was out of white and out of bright yellow. So, and then I got this different brand and kind of threw myself completely off. Um, let me take, you know, some toothpicks and do a little stirring here. I don't need a million toothpicks, I need two. get some of that nice chocolate brown up to the top because it's kind of disappearing underneath. Now this one, all three colors are on top, kind of side by each. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Good thing I opened up, or I made up a second container of light, light yellow, because that one's just about empty. Okay, here comes yellow, brown, and orange. Mostly yellow. There we go. Yeah, mostly yellow with little bits of brown and orange, but not just a whole lot. I need to move these cards. Now, this is not a terrible color combination. It's not the best, but not terrible. So... I want to see if I can get some more of that brown up, because doing just yellow, seriously, not what I had in mind. Pour from another angle here and get at least some more orange in there. I need to open my second lubricant. Paint set. And now let's see. Boy, that yellow is just determined to come out first. There we go. Now I'm getting some of the other colors out. So that's good. Might could let that run a little bit more, but kind of excited to see it because finally getting the colors that I wanted out there. Looks like I got a bubble. Oh, but that's pretty. That's pretty colors. I'm going to take just a moment here and use my toothpick to pop the bubble that's right there in the center. Yeah, yeah that's nice. 
better than the first one, definitely. Although, if that's neon orange, yeah. <laughs> no. As neon orange goes, that's not. <laughs> Here comes the combination of Apple, Apple Barrel and Craftsmart. And in that case, the colors all came out fairly well. Um, looks like that yellow actually came out less than the other colors whereas with the Nicole with yellow was kind of determined to come out first, middle, and last. Okay. Well, that's pretty. Once again, we're seeing a lot more definition, I think, here with the, the Craft Smart color. Apple barrel. And I'm getting to talking too too quietly again, aren't I? If you were here, you could fuss at me and say, Lori, speak up. Can't hear you. Okay. Last one of this video. Ooh, well, that's nice. Yellow kind of is there, but mostly just served to lighten the brown and the orange. Yeah, this neon orange, yeah, where it shows up in the middle there, it's, it's definitely a neon orange. There, it's just too contained within the brown, I guess, to really show up and look like a brown, look like a, a neon orange. I don't know. But I guess I'm going to have to say that the Nicole colors tend to mix together more and the Craft Smart colors tend to keep their definition a little bit better. That's just the, the first uh, thought that comes to mind with that. Have to see once they dry. And I will, as always, post pictures at the end of the video to show you how they look when they dry. Thanks for stopping by. Please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.